Hey guys, Sean. Let's do the for dummies. Burn L E's. Just testing my workmanship. This is the LE that sort of has a broken piece in it, but has continued to work. Um, this is my carry LE that I hadn't modified until now, but I've only done half of what I've done to this one because I'm not comfortable possibly breaking two of them. Um, so I just want to fire this one first and then this one next back to back to see if I'm barking up the right tree. This one has the mercy less lethal um, CO2 chamber and this one just has the factory burn a boost. They've both been sitting inside. My glasses are fogging. Um, all day, so they should perform equally. I am using my no-name brand CO2s, not Crossman, not Berna, just some no-name brand uh, that have been working good for me. So, Berna Kinetics in both of them. I will say this one, after putting it back together, I had a look down the <sighs> puncture tube and I can see a piece of metal like the foil from the CO2 cap in there. I tried to get it out. Uh, it's got, it's in there pretty good. So I'm hoping that this one punctures and doesn't leak, but if it does, then well, end of test. <laughs> All right, safety. Safety. I forgot. I <laughs> did you see me stroke like this? Yeah. This one I put it back on. Or what do you? I'll just do a mag of each. Four eighteen. Three ninety eight. Are you 90? Are you 48? Two more. Are you 44? And I've noticed lately my little indicator isn't so sort of seeing how it's kind of half popped. There still is actually one in there. There's 38. Perform, yeah, it performed well. I mean, it, it, it's still shooting hot. Finished a little cooler than normal, but it's still cold here. Uh, 18 degrees. Okay. Sort of modified, not broken one. <laughs> and it's leaking. Well, let's just fire it off and see what happens here. Are you 26? Yeah. Bugger. Wah, wah, wah. Sorry guys, end of test. Gonna have to dig that piece of metal out of there. I can, I can feel the air coming right out of there. Dirty bugger. See you on the next one. Ah, you didn't think I was gonna leave you like that. Um, Okay, well, I dug out the piece of metal right here. Um, guys, check down there. Look down your CO2 tube every once in a while and look for that metal debris because had you needed that, oh, you can imagine what could have happened. More than anything, I just dislike the burn-up boost now. Uh, I've had more problems with leaky CO2s like that with this attachment on here, whether it's from metal debris or not, that other um, 
LE that I use with the MLL CO2 uh, chamber. I haven't had any of those leaks and I should probably look down that one too. Um, but it might just be compensating for debris that's in there. I don't know. It's just such a much more positive engagement on the CO2. Like on the ML, when I tighten it down, like it stops. This one, you tighten it down and it's like, is it tight? And then you put a little more on, you're like, eh, can it go tighter? So am I not doing it tight enough? This is very much a possibility, but it's clear now. Let's see how it stacks up against my modded one. Hey! <laughs> All right. 448 was the other LE with a broken piece inside. Three fifty two. Three twenty. So it looks like <laughs> I mean this one is shooting kinda how I think most of them do. That was really weird. Power dropped way off. Granted, this isn't the factory spring in there. But something is definitely wrong. So back to the drawing board.